Hey guys, good morning. E and K Vintage RV. So, like I said, today's paint day. We're gonna get in there. Uh, only thing I did this morning is kind of pull out all the cabinets. We're gonna line those up so we can paint those. Uh, it's a gun. Got all our stuff ready. Came inside, did a quick vacuum once over, make sure that everything's taped. We're not gonna hit anything with paint that we don't want painted. Um, that's my paint machine. It's basically the pump for the air flow. And then this would be the gun. Pretty good size. So, so when it comes to paint, um, I use Bear Premium Plus or Bear Marquee. It's more expensive. Yes, it is. Um, but you get a better coat and you don't have to do as many coats. So right there, paint and primer. So it's all in one. Um, it's a latex based paint. So you need a latex gun, a latex paint gun. And when it comes to paint guys, it's, it's really worth going the, the extra dollar for it because from what I've, experienced over the years is uh, the cheap paint like the glidden and um, usually that budget paint you end up buying more just to coat properly and it leaves like a, a really aggressive odor from from what I've noticed uh, over the last few times and over the years is that bear doesn't have an aggressive smell to it and um, by that, I don't mean while you're spraying. I mean, even after, even after it's dry, it has a really chemical, chemically smell. But, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill our paint gun. So use a bunch of these, try to keep it as clean as possible. And Usually I have like a gallon of water around for this amount of paint that we're using. Um, since it's latex, you water it down with water and very little water. So usually I'll do like, I want to say one eight. So one part water to eight parts paint, whatever measurement you're using, that usually works out pretty well. And all you're doing is thinning it out enough for the paint gun to spray it out in a, a nice even pattern so we're just going to keep doing this but like i said gallon of water so you can water it down we're going to be doing about i want to do three or four coats um anything more than that guys I do not recommend, uh, it'll just turn into big puddles of clay. And even if it dries, when it dries, it'll just be really thick and you, you'll notice it. You want it to look nice and clean, you know what I'm saying? So, I have paint clothes because I always get paint on myself. Stop messing up my good jeans. But, all right guys, so I'm gonna mix this up. Get this nice and ready to go in there and then uh, you guys will follow me through and we'll paint together.
What's up guys? So we're getting these doors painted up. All of them are done. Check that out. And then uh, cut off this piece. Turn off the paint gun. So right here, we all white. All of it. Make it nice and clean. Nice clean coats of paint. All the way around. Look at that. Hell yeah. So we're gonna let this stuff dry up. I'm gonna give those doors another coat. And then we're just gonna let it dry for the night. Once it's good, tomorrow we'll start a pull stream and uh, we'll get that in here. So we'll get the doors back on, all the cabinetry, all put back together. And then it'll be nice painted. And then the upholstery will pop up, bring to life. And then we'll come in, drop that floor inside. We'll be done. Yeah, it'll be done. And then uh, we'll get started on that outside paint. Um, she wants that classic Z Shasta paint job with the same color teal that we're putting on that doors right now on the outside, except oil-based and glossy with that silver stripe and the white uh, on top. So it'll be a three-tone paint job. And uh, it's going to be awesome. Um, I really, I really, really like this color. It is super, super nice. And uh, I'm definitely saving that on my color palette um really really nice but as you can see guys inside is bam brand new so put on the cabinets take off the tape get upholstery flooring uh hopefully by saturday it'll be it'll be looking good and um i need to actually call and talk to all my customers if you don't see me on here so i mentioned that i'm in the army and um everything that's going on with the hurricanes and everything like that. I'm part of a hurricane relief team, so I may have to uh, put the trailers aside for about a week or so if I do get called out and I have to go out there and help assist, you know what I mean? Um, but other than that, I need to go and talk to them. But the trailers are coming along. We're gonna keep pushing and chugging along until I get that call, if I get that call. Otherwise, bam, you see the trailers, we're coming. All right, guys, Ian K Vintage RV. Um, I'll post some pictures on this video as well, but I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Let me know, subscribe, like, do all that junk. I'm out.